these guys can hear me well. Um, here we have the Eagle Manager, which is pretty nifty. Uh, it's got my latitude, longitude, time, date, um, how many satellites we're connected up to, altitude, then we've got the power consumption, which is really cool to know how many hours worth I've got of uh, imaging throughout the night. Then I've got all the controls of uh, all my power, so 1, 2, 3, 4 on the right hand side. And I've actually labelled them, so RASA 2, RASA 1, which are the cameras. And then uh, Focuser 1 and Focuser 2. Uh, the USBs, so A, B, C, D. So A is my mount and D is my uh, Focuser 2. And then up the top we've got um, RASA Cam 1 and Focuser 1. And then RASA Cam 2 and um, and the focus is down the other end. The reason I've done it that way is that way the uh, USB cable goes straight from the camera to the side of which the um, brasses are sitting on just to make things uh, a little bit easier. And then I've got the uh, light meter, the uh, eye, which is showing 18.88. Now don't quote me on this but I think that's somewhere around a bottle 6 um, sky. I'll have to look at those uh, those settings and um, and see. I don't have an echo attached to it, which is something I'm actually thinking about doing. Um, I really, I'm really enjoying this system. But anyway, I'm going to uh, minimise this here and load up my Celestron CPWI, which is really cool. Um, I've had a little bit of a play uh, around. This is still a very new um, system for me. As you guys know, I've been using the uh, the ASI Air Pros. Uh, in like using two of them um, and I'm hoping that this here is going to be a better system overall the reason I've switched to this sort of system is due to uh, mosaic planning so with the, uh, the dual ASI Air Pros um, I can't exactly uh, mosaic plan as efficiently as I sh could and we all know that I'm aiming and striving towards my mosaics. So uh, this is hopefully a better system. I can plan all my mosaicing um, in Nina and then uh, run the sequence once obviously all the bugs have been sorted out. And this is our first night out with the uh, Prima Luce Lab Eagle 4 and, uh, and this new sort of setup. Now this other setup also allows me to possibly go away from ZWA cameras in the future. Um, which is something I've thought about doing but that's all funds and I don't have funds to splash around with so let's get on with this um, really simple um, I like the way it uh, it works and all I need to do is connect connect to mount and then I can um, run through all this other bits and pieces slew control is pretty cool um, the alignment so I've already done a uh, a star alignment and an all-star polar alignment because I don't have the ZWA SIA Pros um, doing that polar alignment uh, setup. I've done it this way. Now I am thinking about going to the um, uh, what do you call them? The oh no, Star Sense. There it is. So I'm looking at going to the Star Sense out in the field to make um, things a little bit easier. For me, so if you've got a star celestial star sense and you've used that for polar alignment out in the field, let me know how you've gone with that. Is it very simple? Um, do you advise against it or not against it? So let me know in the comments on how we go there. All right, so as we can see, we're, uh, we're all connected up, and I'm going to minimize this window here and I'm going to open up Dina. Now, this is my main. Um, uh, Russell one main profile whoops I've been playing around with Nina a little bit while I've been waiting for my mount to return so um, I'm still getting my head around it still setting things up but I think we're pretty good so let me just run through some of the things that I've done here uh, when we go to equipment as we can see my telescope I've connected up and we're using the CPWI um, and all the ASCOM uh, drivers and all that for that so that's all good, that works. The focuser, now the focuser, because I've got two ZWO focusers, um, I'm actually thinking about, uh, sorry, I've got to go on this little cog 
button on the side here and see where it says EAF IDO opened um, and you've got to make sure that one's on zero and the other one is on ID one otherwise you're going to be controlling um, the same focuser with both the sequences um, so yeah it's it's a little bit tricky uh, I might go back to uh, Celestron focus motor um, just to differentiate the difference between the two I'm not too sure but we'll work on it and we'll see how um, this goes as it is if it causes a few issues I might uh, put on a Celestron focus motor now oh, and also the other reason I don't if I go to the echo that's going to be the temperature control so we have to adjust the focuses and stuff like that anyway so um, yeah but uh, we'll move to the um, uh, so the camera focus and, and telescope now guider I cannot uh, connect the guider up at this stage and the reason for that is that I can only use two ZWO um, drivers well, two cameras uh, at once and because this setup uses three ZWO cameras if you remember in the ASIA Pros I had two cameras running through one ASIA Pro and one camera running through the other ASIA Pro so I didn't have an issue but because I'm running three ZWO cameras um, I've got an issue so I'm looking at going to maybe a QHY um, guide scope uh, guide camera just so that way I'm using the QHY driver and uh, that way it should eliminate that problem fingers crossed um, if you got any advice on that please feel free leave a comment now when we go down to our imaging oh the other thing I want to bring up to is the uh, plate solving here so I'm using plate solve 2 um, and the reason I'm using plate solve 2 is that I get to see what actually is going on so uh, there's a little bit to set up but um, yeah I think it uh, might be a little bit worth it in the end uh, I've also adjusted some of my settings on the right hand side here so pointing tolerance um, to one and exposure time to one so what I found on one occasion um, trialing this as well is that if I used a uh, 10 second exposure or even a 5 second exposure at f2 with a gain of 121 um, I'm not being able to uh, plate solve too easily so bringing the exposure down to one second so I'm really reducing the amount of stars picked up and all that I'm actually able to plate solve a lot easier 